Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Elegoo PEI platform kit. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So I have an Elegoo Neptune 4 Pro printer and it has a PEI build plate, but I'm doing lots of prints. So I wanted to get a second plate. So after it's done printing, I can swap it out with a fresh plate while I let the other plate cool. And then I can rotate between the two. So this says for the Neptune 3 Pro, this also fits the Neptune 4 Pro. So let's get this opened up. So here we have some foam. Here we have the plate. So this comes with the magnetic part also, which is here. Now I don't need this part, but this could become damaged on my printer someday. So I'm going to take this, I'll put the protective corners back on, and I'll put it back in the package. That way, if the day ever comes that I need it, it will still be in good shape. So I'll store that away somewhere safe. So here we have the PEI plate. Looks really nice. So this is a 235 by 235 millimeter plate. So that's from these edges here to here. This sticks out a little bit further. Now there might have been other PEI plates from different brands and such. I went with the Elegoo one because that's what I currently use. I didn't want to get a different brand and risk it being a different thickness because that means every time I'd switch it, I'd have to change some settings or something. So this should work as a drop-in replacement for the one I already have. So I don't know if it's necessary, but for adhesion, I like to just wipe it down with acetone. I use a very, very tiny amount. So I'm just gonna Tiny spot there. Now acetone can dissolve plastics. This is plastic here. I should be very careful. This could mess up the finish of a table or other surface. Now, again, you don't have to do this. If you want something that's a little easier to use, alcohol would be another option. Now I could just try this and see if it works and has adhesion problems, but I'm gonna be putting this in and printing on it right away without any tests. So we'll head over to my printer and it's gonna be finishing up in a few minutes and we'll swap it out and restart the print. Okay, this is finished up. Now this is going to be very hot. You could wear gloves. I'm just going to move it quickly. So I'll pull up on this, set it down, and I'll put the new plate on. That's lined up pretty good. Now the heat from the bed will transfer into the plate pretty quickly. So now I can go over here and I'll just say print again and it will start the process again. Now there's a little bit of filament hanging down here. I'm just gonna use a skewer. To pull that off of there. So now I can have these off to the side, let this cool down, pop these off, I'll also pop off the purge and it's ready to go to swap out next time. So that's the Elegoo PEI plate. If you're doing production printing, it can be nice having multiple plates. There could also be situations where you damage a plate. So it's nice to have an extra one on hand. And as I said before, going with the Elegoo plate, you know it's the same thickness. So you don't have to make any adjustments to your settings. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.